Hey there guys, as promised, here's my MediUI settings tutorial. I'm going to give a quick run rundown of how I use MediUI and new settings that I've used recently that um, you might be interested in because one thing I've noticed, especially with this program here, Dimitri's, sorry, um, Dimitri, it's called DaVinci Resolve. Um, when you interpolate a video with this program, um, there's a lot of ghosting on, especially, say if you, you run in with the, um, as a soldier in any kind of FPS, one thing you'll notice on the cross on screen is like a ghosting image following it. As you pan the camera around, you'll see a lot of, you know, it's a lot of artifacts, which looks shit. It looks great at 60 FPS, don't get me wrong. But in the last few, few days, actually, I've tried to eliminate those uh, artifacts by using, um, media UI because that did it as well but not as bad you know but first thing I click on is tools this is presuming that you've set media UI up properly to do with the AV synth and everything to to record your videos at 60 FPS tools and I go to one click encoder now this was suggested to me by IREX and uh, I just like did my own version from there let's get rid of this right one thing you'll see is this box that pops up Go to your video input, select file. I'm not going to do one right now. Um, desktop, let's go to that one. Now, you notice there, Killzone 3 Part 13, which is Part 13 of the campaign. Um, let's let's play it, and you'll see it's 30 FPS. Oh no, you see, you'll see it at 60 FPS, because I've got this program installed on MPC player called Dimitri Render which converts 30 FPS while you're viewing the video. It's just a bit more of a delay because it's like getting getting set up. You watch this. Is anybody's radio working? Where is everybody? The Sarge wants us to get to higher ground! Now you notice a ghosting on the image there. That's come via Dimitri Render. I don't want to... I don't want to you know, um, confuse people, but I'll show you it properly with um, Windows Media Player. It'll show you 30 FPS gameplay basically. And watch the crosshair, you'll notice. Is no, is anybody's radio working? Where is everybody? You notice the crosshair, it's, you know, it's just the one crosshair as, as you move your camera that that moved as well. Um, but there's no ghosting and when I play a file with, M with the MPC media player via Dimitri Render, Render which is a, an external filter that I use it just basically means that when you play a 30 FPS video you can watch it at 60 you know um, here's the media UI version now I'm going to open that with um, Windows media player because it'll play it without all that ghosting There's no sound you notice because when I did this a couple of weeks ago, I was using the old setting that I was using, but I'm using a new setting now, which I'm going to go into. You can see the difference between 30 and 60 there. Um, I'm trying to find one that I've done recently. Let's go to desktop. Let's try and find one. Uh, yeah, I know. I actually know which one. It's Killzone 3 online folder I'm looking for. Where the, there he is. There he is. Hiding there. Right. It's this one. Salomon Bots Live Comms. Now, this one was done with these settings I'm going to show you. I don't want to make this too hey long-winded. Welcome to my gaming channel. Yet more Killzone 3 action. Today, I'm going to play in Bot Zone. And don't let that put you off. It's live commentary. And I'm uh, going to have a laugh here. This is on the veteran level. Salomon Market. Marksman. SCA-52 SCA assault rifle and a VC-32 sniper rifle. Let's get going. I spawned for once as the ISA. I mean, let's take a look at this beautiful map in 1080p, 60 frames a second.
As you can see, there's virtually hardly any ghosting on the, the actual, you know, these heads up displays, things like this, this, this thing here, the, your crosshair on your gun and the two symbols here in the distance. What I was noticing was a lot of, you know, trails, a lot of ghosting on the image as you move your camera left and right and up and down and whatnot. But as you can see there, it looks a lot better. And these are the settings I'm going to go through now. Finally, let's just actually import that in. We're not going to. We're not going to actually convert it because I already have. Now, what you get is this. Um, in order for your audio to be converted, you have to go via this method. And you notice this QAAC scratch pad. Now you have to download this because it doesn't come with MediaUI when you install it. it gets, there's an option to it because why I'm using that one because the audio is recognised by Sony Vegas, and. Um, I've done a tutorial on this that goes into this, but today we're going to click, see this one, one click profile scratch pad configuration. You get all this. Let's move the boxes all, all right, okay. Fussy bleeder. Okay, <laughs> the video tab is the first one opened and you notice automatic deinterlacing de is not checked. By default it is checked, so I've unchecked it recently. And the difference, I think I've seen the difference. I'm not so sure to, so sure about it, to be honest, but the jury's still out on that one, you know. But I think I seem to think that uh, if I uncheck that, then, you know, it's a lot smoother. I could be wrong, but it's what I'm using. Um, output, MP, output is it an MP4. You can go via the AVI, but I wouldn't recommend that. MT2, M2TS is the same. You can't really notice the difference, but this MP4 is um, basically uh, what's recognised in Sony Vegas. Now, this file size is 16 gigabytes. Let's have a look at the original file. Let's, I'll show you how, um, how big the original file is. I might have it set too high, actually, but there's a reason for that. I hope you're following this because I'm getting fucking confused. <laughs> there you go, 10.3 gigabytes. Now, as you can see, that is 15.9. Okay, it's a bigger file, but the the idea here is to put this file through Sony Vegas at say 25 megabytes a second, and there uh, you, you're getting fantastic quality. Not only that, I'm adding sharpening to the image, and um, I'm adding a bit of colour correction as well. And it looks fabulous, you know, when it's come through Sony Vegas. It looks even better than this preview video I've just shown you. Um, so I always make sure my... Uh, let's see, there's something else I wanted to show you. Uh, output video. Yeah, there we go. The ex on, this, on the video tab, which was originally opened up... Um, X264 scratch pad configuration. Let's click that button and you get this. Notice it, constant quality, quality 10. You don't have to go that high. You can go just a little bit higher than the original file. You, you're guaranteed to not um, have any quality loss whatsoever. But that ultra fast is what I always set because it'll. it's, it's a good trade-off basically. All right, come on, get off. <laughs> It's a good, in my opinion, it's a good trade-off because your you, um, your encoding time is is reduced because you've set the ultra fast preset. You go to, all the way to placebo, and you're talking long enough in time. <laughs> but keep it ultra fast, um, high profile tuning animation. I always go for animation because basically the video games are animation, you know. But I mean, I could be wrong on that one, but I I seem to go for that, and it works for me. Um, and that's basically it with the X264 encoder. Uh, is there anything else I could cover? Hmm. Audio is the QAC. Let's go to configuration on that. Preferred decoder, FF audio source. You can have all these. But I keep it at that. And true, true variable bitrate. Yeah. 100% quality. Now you can go to uh, 127, which uh, I just keep it at 100. There's no real need to change it. That's the default. And 
And there we go. And then once you're happy with all your settings there, you click go and it will it will actually you click OK, get rid of that. And then you click go and it'll start rendering. It'll take longer than the, the other method where you're not converting any audio, but the quality is, is amazing. So those are my settings for media UI. I hope it wasn't too confusing because it is it is a bit complicated. You know, there's so much to try and cover. And uh, I get bleeding confused myself, so <laughs> I hope you didn't. But uh, that's media UI. That's how I convert my 30 FPS gameplays to 60 FPS. And uh, I'm going to finish this video by showing you a little preview of what I've got coming up on my channel. Thank you for watching. And to you, Dismember. Thank you for all your support, mate, and uh, check him out. He's a great Battlefield player, and uh, he's recently done his own video on which is better, 30 FPS or 60, but I think you need to do another video to really show how 60 FPS shines. You know, try these settings anyway, see how it comes out. All right, I'm Pepper 66 and thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Get out of the way, dickhead! Fuck off out of my fucking way! <laughs> I mean, you can have a laugh watching my gameplays, you know, I mean, don't worry about this being against bots. I do not know why I threw that out of the fucking window then. <laughs>